Today I wanted to make a quick video on a small but helpful feature you may not have been aware of in RafflePress. By adding just a couple parameters to the end of your contest URL, you can easily have people sign up to your giveaway contest. This avoids having them enter their own name and email address manually, allowing them to take action quickly. Everyone here at RafflePress loves having you part of the community, so please subscribe, hit the like button, and the bell to be notified of future videos. Alright, let's jump into the video and see how we can do this. So to start out, today we're using RafflePress, and if you're not familiar with RafflePress, it is the best WordPress giveaway plugin and this allows you to grow your email list your website traffic and social media followers by using viral giveaways and contests so if you don't have an account already you can click on get raffle press now and you can sign up to one of the accounts that we offer after you have an account you can log in and download the pro version of the plugin and install that if you need help installing it please check out the installation video on the YouTube channel which will help you out and guide you through that process so what we're going to be looking at today if we come all the way down to the bottom of the page and then we'll head over to documentation and here we'll see the developer section and we're going to click on the three articles here and right here we have pass name and email to the giveaway we're going to click on here and it gives you a little bit of the details of what we're looking into today we have two parameters here that we can use to accomplish what we want to do so the goal is for us to set up a contest and then to pass in these two parameters in our url so when people click on these it automatically enters their name and their email address into our contest so that they don't have to manually sign up to it so i'm going to come back and i'm in my wordpress dashboard and i already have of raffle press installed here on the left hand side you can see it in the menu and i want to click and add a new contest so up top here we can give it a name for my example i'm just going to call it camping gear and i'll just do a classic giveaway so i'm going to use this template on the right hand side we have the visual builder and then all of the details actions design and settings here on the left hand side we also have a three-step process up top so we've already done the template that's what we just picked just the classic and now we're doing the setup part and then we can publish this and put it live so here we can click to edit the details so i have a little visual edit here that i can put in my name and the description of my giveaway so there we go we have brand new camping gear and enter below for your chance to win this amazing collection of camping gear we can also select an image i'll go ahead and do that and i've uploaded this photo of some camping gear now i'll choose the image and now i'm going to click on done editing and there we can see a setup for our contest really easily so here on the left hand side you can select a giveaway starts on time and the ends on time and your time zone so i'm going to go ahead and pick a date to start the contest and end. Once you're done with these details on the left-hand side, you can click on actions, and then you can add some of these actions to enter people into your contest. So if you want more people to follow you on Twitter, for example, you would definitely want to add this as one of the options for them to sign up to your contest for. So now you can see the details for this Twitter action on the left hand side the title where it says follow us on twitter is what they will see right here and under the value this is how many points they get for that contest so if you're really trying to focus on growing your twitter page you might want to give them more points for this action you can also make it mandatory and you want to put in your username that they want to sign up to on twitter so for example if we were trying to get people to follow raffle press we would put in our raffle press username here for twitter i'm just going to click on a couple more here just to add different options let's add the join an email newsletter so there we have four different options that people can enter the contest after you're happy with all of your settings on the left hand side here we can click on design and this just says some layout options fonts and colors so for the layout you can swap the image image I'm going to keep it up top here. We have the font, so you can select and change this if you like. Maybe Railway with Lado, so you can see that. And then the button color. So if I click here, I can change this from some pre-selected options. So for example, maybe I want something a little bit more teal to pop out on the page. We also have some red in that picture, so maybe I'll go with the red color just so it brings it all together. We also have the page background. Now this is only if you're using the standalone pages because you can embed RafflePress into your posts and pages that already have a design. But if you want to create a standalone page that just just features this contest on it then you can change the background color here so for example I can click this and maybe we'll go with maybe a gray color like this you can also add a background image if you wish to customize it even further along with some custom CSS and lastly we have the settings on the left hand side so we have general settings so this is the name of your giveaway the page permalink so this is where it'll be located at on your website so I'll just call this slash contest the display options if you want to hide or show winners if you want to limit signups per IP if you want to show the raffle press link on the actual contest itself and if you want to join the affiliate program you can do so by entering your URL here after you join 
join the affiliate program under the link. We also have the giveaway rules and we have a rules generator template. So if I click here, you can put in the sponsor name, email address, country, locations, and minimum age. Click generate and this will generate all the rules for your contest automatically. Next, we have the email verification that you can go through if you want them to verify their email and the email that is sent out to them. We have success tracking so you can add some scripts here in the conversion scripts. A success redirect if you have like a thank you page or maybe a refer a friend page as well. We have the social logins so you can allow them to log in with Facebook. You need to use the Facebook app ID though and we have the GDPR here at consent and then you can add that GDPR consent text into this box. We also have reCAPTCHA. If you want to enable the invisible reCAPTCHA you need to get the site key and the secret key here as well. There's a little link here to show you how to get those. And then lastly we have webhooks if you want to enable webhooks and there's some documentation on the website on how to do that. Next let's go ahead and save in the top right hand corner and we can go ahead and publish our page. So next you have three different publish options so you can use the WordPress block to put it into your poster page. You have a short code so you can also put that into your poster page to display the giveaway or you have the giveaway landing page. So we already created the URL here under the settings. We can go ahead and click view page to see this page and this is exactly what we created. All right great so now that we have our quick contest set up let's go ahead and look at the feature for how to pass the name and email to the giveaway and it's quite simple. We just have two query parameters here that we need to add to the end of our URL. We also have an example here so you can see that there is the RP email and then it has the email address example and the RP name. So let's go ahead and write this out. I'm just going to copy the email address and we'll bring that over to our URL here at the end. I'm just going to put a question mark and then I'll paste the RP email with an equal sign and then whatever email you want to use. So I'll put Chris at example.com and then we want to add a second parameter and we can see right here that there's a little ampersand here and then that's followed by RP name equals John. So let's go ahead and we'll bring that back. We'll do the ampersand with the RP name and then that equals whatever your user's name is. There we go. I'm just going to copy this for now. So we have it. And then when I push enter, you'll notice something on the contest down here below. Pay attention to this section right here. You can see that when I visited this URL, it automatically entered this email address into the contest with my name. And now if I come back to RafflePress under giveaways, we can see my camping gear contest. And you'll actually notice that it has one user. So if I click on here, you can actually see that this was entered as the email and the name. You can also see that the email was not verified and there's no entries because this specific person, which was me, did not enter any of the actions here. So when would you actually use this feature? And the best use case that I could think of was if you have a email list that you could email people to join your contest or giveaway. And then inside that email, you could create these dynamic links that replaces these fields for the email address and the name with that specific person's email and their name. So when you're creating your emails, there is usually a place to add variables such as the person's name, their last name, maybe their email address or their city. And Constant Contact actually has a support page here on how to insert dynamic links in an email. So if we scroll down here, we can see a few examples and ways to use these dynamic links. Let's say this was your URL and then you have the locations with the city. And now this is a dynamic parameter that is replaced by whatever city the user in the email list comes from. So if somebody receives an email and they happen to be from Boston, then it'll replace that URL with Boston at the end of the locations and then show a customized page to them. So we can actually use this feature to create our own specific URL inside of Constant Contact or any of the popular third-party email marketing services. So when creating your email in Constant Contact, you can see they actually have a specific button to create a web page link. And then here's an example of how to insert that link. So you have the text to display. So we could change this text, for example, to enter our giveaway or enter our contest. And then we could build the link URL here. And instead of this URL, we would just take this one and replace the email and the name with the variables that they offer. So if we keep scrolling down, we can actually see some of the variables that they list here. And one of them is email address and first name. Now this is common for all third-party email marketing services. So for example, here's MailChimp and they have a personalization section on their documentation. And if we scroll down, you can see that their variables look different than constant contact, but they do the exact same thing. So here, constant contact uses these brackets and MailChimp instead actually uses these asterisks with a pipe character here. Again, they work in the exact same way. So here on the right hand side, I just have my text editor open with our contest URL along with those parameters here that we can see. So if you're using constant contact or MailChimp or whoever, we want to look at the variables and then copy this. And then I just want to replace the email with the email variable. 
So I'll paste this in here and it's that simple. Next, we want the first name. So I'll take the first name variable, copy that, and then we'll paste this into here. Now I'll take this full URL and this is what I would actually enter into this spot for the link URL. Now, this is going to be dependent on which third party email marketing service you're actually using and how they accept or allow you to add URLs or links into your emails. And then when you send out this email to all of your email list, these variables will be updated with that person's email address and their first name. So then when they click on this, they'll be sent to your contest page where these variables will be grabbed by RafflePress and then entered into the contest automatically so they don't have to enter that information. If you can't find these variables with the service that you use, please contact their support and ask them where the list of variables are or just tell them exactly what you're trying to do and I'm sure they'll be more than happy to help you out. Now that you know about how to auto register your users into your giveaway, maybe you would like to check out this video on how to pick a winner for a giveaway in RafflePress. This will help you learn how to choose a winner in multiple ways. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.